Breaking news in the investigation of the mysterious murder of Buster Murdoch's former classmate, Stephen Smith. Authorities in South Carolina have named two persons of interest. And guess what? Neither one is named Murdoch. Joining us now, defense attorney Mark Garrigus and prosecutor David Arenberg. It's good to have you both. Before we go through the names, uh, the idea that the state trooper who came upon the scene of Stephen Smith did not think it was a hit and run. But here's a new nugget of information. The pathologist who did the autopsy theorized Smith was hit in the head by the side view mirror of a passing truck that did not stop. What do you make of that assessment, Mark Garagos? Well, that could be consistent with them not believing it was a hit and run because uh, in order to have a hit and run, obviously somebody has to be aware of the hit. So that would not surprise me. I, what does surprise me about this today is that at least so far what's been reported by putting out the names of these two people of interest, uh, at least it looks like it's on, based on uncorroborated uh, double hearsay. And it's unfortunate uh, that uh, for those two people who've been identified. I suppose law enforcement is looking to see if anybody knows anything, but that's still going to follow these two people around for uh, quite a while. So one of them, uh, the father of one of them, uh, Dave, says he heard that the other one who's named was driving the car uh, that took out uh, Stephen Smith. How compelling is that? I'm with Mark on this one, Chris. There are a lot of uh, weird connections here uh, that don't totally add up. Apparently, both of these individuals that are being mentioned as the new suspects were involved in various legal actions tied to the Murdoch family in the months following Stephen Smith's murder. And the tip that went to police came from Patrick Wilson's stepfather, so one of the individual's stepfather. And who told the stepfather to alert police? But Randy Murdoch, Alex's older brother, and also Wilson, this guy was at the time facing attempted murder charges from the DA's office where Alec Murdoch worked. So, I mean, this whole thing is just so squirrely. So I, my head's spinning. And another part about this tip that we're talking about that concerns me is the stepfather said that uh, the guy was driving a vehicle that struck and killed Stephen Smith. But I thought this wasn't a hit and run. There was no indication there were... Uh, that a car had lost any parts. There was no glass on the ground. Stephen Smith's shoes were still on. So uh, there's going to be a lot more to investigate here. Um, the idea that should I stop saying Buster Murdoch's classmate now that the latest advance in the reporting is that there is no proof at this point that does point to Buster Murdoch? At what point do we stop identifying this guy as his classmate? Mark. Well, I, it's part of the problem when you get into these kind of true crime, super sensational cases is that everybody who's a, uh, a self-proclaimed PI is going to start to do all kinds of crazy connections. And uh, Dave has seen it, I have seen it, and it's unfortunate because a lot of people get smeared along the way. And uh, I, right. I think it probably is time to retire that. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.